I had been selected for a most important journey. I was to help fulfill the destiny of the two great ones, Bill and Ted. Wild Stallions rule! Whenever time stands still and trouble moves too fast, to save the future, we must learn about the past. I bless you dudes in the most excellent names of Bill and Ted. Be excellent! Party on! Life was a bitch for Bill and Ted in 20th century San Dimas. Yet today, we have much to thank the two great ones for. Bowling scores are way up, mini golf scores are way down, and we have more excellent water slides than any other planet we communicate with. Although destiny could have taken a most heinous turn, we are thankful for the circuits of time that allow me to travel back and keep the two great ones on the correct path, ensuring our most excellent society. Totally! A society based on the philosophy and lessons learned during Bill and Ted's excellent adventures. One, two, one, two, three, four! Friday, dude. Ted, what are we gonna do? Hello, hello. I thought if you boys were taking a break, you might want something to drink. Thanks, Missy. I mean, Mom. Bill, your stepmom is such an incredible babe. Shut up, Ted. Never seen her in a bikini before. She's given me a full-on chubby. Shut up, Ted. What happened to your poor little amplifier? We exceeded its most non-abundant capacity. What are you going to do? The dance is tomorrow. We don't know, Missy. It's a most unexcellent situation. <laughs> Whoa! Excellent! Bogus! most outstanding every day. It's outrageous! Shut up, Ted. I didn't even say anything. Taking a break? No. They're Aunt Blue. It's so bogus. <laughs> the $500 amp I got you for Christmas, Bill? Yeah, Dad. But if you buy him another, a more expensive one, we'll give you 2% of the first million dollars we make on the road. Oh, I'm sure you'll agree, sir, that is a majestic return on your money. Are you out of your mind? Sorry, guys. Guess you're gonna have to buy yourselves a new amp. But how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Get a job. A job?! Greetings and felicitations, Mr. Keelson. Allow me to introduce myself, Ted Theodore Logan, and my best friend and esteemed musical associate, Bill S. Preston Esquire. Uh-huh. Well, unless you boys play the bosa, we don't carry musical instruments. No, sir, tools. That's what we're all about here at Nail World. Exactly, sir. We're here about the job. The job? <laughs> oh, I see. Well... Can you lift a hundred pound bag of manure or one on each shoulder? Most easily. Can you tell the difference between a monkey wrench and a gap to saw bit? Totally. Oh. Can you afford to sacrifice scholastic achievement in order to work long hours and minimum wage and no health benefits? Most, Most definitely. definitely. Boy, you boys don't discourage easily, do you? No, no way. way. Well, sorry, I can only afford to hire one of you. We blew it, Ted. I know, dude. Our hopes have been most transplanently dashed. How's it going? How's the future, dude? 
Looking pretty grim, dudes. Why? Bill and Ted, if you don't play at that dance tomorrow night, then you won't go on to fulfill your destiny as the only two dudes in the universe who can save the world from a most egregious fate. No way. Yes way. I'm afraid if the wild stallions don't play tomorrow night, then your lives, not to mention the future of mankind, will take a most heinous turn. So how do we play without an app? You're the great ones, gentlemen. You'll think of something. Dude, as the two future most inspired beings in history, we were most harsh and judgmental on Mr. Kilson's daughter, Bernadette. Yeah, totally, dude. After all, beauty is only skin deep. Yeah. And if there's one thing Bernie Kilson does have, it's a lot of skin. Dude, I got a most excellent concept. What, dude? Let's take the phone booth, go back in time 15 minutes, and rectify this most insensitive oversight. Hey! <laughs>